Well, boat speeds are up again at Okaboji after a five mile an hour speed limit was lifted on East and West Lake over the weekend. That's right, that speed restriction implemented, of course, after the flooding on East and West Lakes, making an impact on businesses and homes in the area. KCAU 9's Avia Hannon shares how the community is making progress in returning to normal. Many of the businesses on the shore rely on tourists to keep their business going. And when people aren't on the lake, the company starts to struggle. The flooding impacted the community a great, a great deal for two and a half weeks. We were busy rescuing boats off the lake, so we worked together as a team to make the best of the situation and to make our customers happy. Companies and the community came together to help victims after the flooding but there's still a lot of damage left behind. Yeah, there wasn't just a lot of boating activity in general. 95% or more of the boats were off the lakes, and so the lake, the, lake was, uh, the lake was very quiet. We're seeing things get more back to normal on a daily basis. More boats are starting to go back out to the lake. Docks and hoists are getting fixed. Um, there's a lot of summer left, and. We're looking forward to making the best of it. Even with the significant damage that many residents and businesses felt, they still keep a positive attitude and know that things are starting to get better. We had to take all our 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 hoist customer boats out of the water. We have 82 hoist and 82 hoist that need new engines, so it's part of the deal with the flood, but we're a team and we're working through it. Residents of Okaboji and the surrounding area are glad to see things start to return to normal. Abby Hanen, KCU 9 News.